be gracious to you.
is, Lord, whatever problem we have, we will always look to you, Lord. Thank you for the message that will be given to you today. And may we receive it with a kind heart, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Before we get started, let's pray. Father, we pray. Be with us, Lord, tonight as we pray to you. We pray for your anointing to be upon us, Lord. As we lift up our voices in prayers to you, we pray that you will hear the cries of our hearts. We have so many problems, Lord. And we know that apart from you, we are nothing. We can't solve our own problems, Lord. So, Father, we pray, anoint us as we pray to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Welcome back again to our prayer meeting, folks. And uh, before we pray, I want to share with you uh, a topic that uh, I think uh, we need to address. Um, I met a um, few people in the past that, ha that have uh, mental problems. And uh, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So it is the desire of the, our Father in heaven that his people will have sound mind. Sound mind. But as you know, folks, we encounter a lot of people, you know, they have mental illness. So I want to talk to you about mental illness illness because later on whether you like it or not later on one of his days you're gonna encounter people they're gonna ask from you hey brother sister I need your help please would you pray for my for my mom or dad or or son or or daughter that has mental illness so folks uh, we need to be equipped we need to have discerning we need to have wisdom on how to approach them and how to pray for them, okay? So, uh, right now, millions of people in America, maybe around 60 million people, they suffer from mental illness every single year. And, uh, you know, there is no exception and uh, mental illness can, can uh, ravage uh, adults, teenagers, all people from all walks of life. So we need to uh, equip on how to approach them, on how to pray for them. Because not all mental illness is demonic, you know. Uh, some people, when they uh, encounter people that have mental illness, they think, oh, it's caused by demonic. Not necessarily. So I want to talk about mental illness. And number one reason why people have mental illness is because it can be demonic. It can be demonic. If we look at the Bible uh, Mark chapter 5, verse 15, it says, When they came to Jesus, next, ver next slide please, Mark 5, verse 15, When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there, dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. So in this uh, verse, folks, there was, there was a man possessed by legions of demons. And he was running on the graveyards naked. And then the Lord Jesus healed him. And now he is sitting, sitting dressed and in his right mind. He was not in his right mind before Jesus healed him. He, 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 was, 
he had mental illness and the cause of this is demonic. He was possessed by legions, by thousands of demons. That's why he goes mental. So it could be uh, due to uh, demon possession. It, will be, it, it can be demonic. So mental illness, number one, it can be demonic. Number two, mental illness can be as a result of sin. People go mental. They have mental problems. It's because of sin. I'll give you one example in Daniel chapter 5, verses 20 to 21. It says, But Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, became too proud and stubborn. So he was taken off his royal throne by God. His glory was taken away by God. Verse 21, he was forced away from people and his mind became like the mind of an animal. He lived with the wild donkeys and was fed, and was fed grass like an ox and became wet with dew. These things happened to him until he learned his lesson. The Most High God rules over every kingdom on earth and he sets anyone he chooses over those kingdoms. So he became mental. He suffered from mental illnesses because he, his life was ruled with pride and the Lord hates people with a prideful heart. So his glory was taken away. He became like an animal. He went mental. So this is one reason why people, it's because of sin. It can be the result of sin. It can be demonic, right? I'll give you one example. 1 Samuel 6, chapter 16, verse 14. This is talking about King Saul. Now the Spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul because Saul disobeyed God. He disobeyed God and so the Spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. The reason why the Lord, depart, the Lord departed the spirit from Saul is because of the sin of disobedience. See? So this is one example that sin can result to mental illness. Because what happened when Saul sinned against God, it invites spirit of, you know, uh, spirit that could, that could uh, destroy his mind. So sin can be the result of mental illness. Number three, reason. Number one reason again, mental illness can be demonic. Number two, mental illness can be uh, a result of sin. Number three, mental illness can be a physical illness. Next slide, please. Mental illness can be a physical illness. So some people, you know, Christians, when they see people who are mentally ill, they think that it's because of sin or they think that it's because of uh, demonic. No, not necessarily. But mental illness can be a physical illness. I'll give you an example. Luke 10, verses 33 to 34. This is talking about a Samaritan who helped uh, a man who was beaten up by thugs. Verse 33, but a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. See, folks, it can be a result of uh, a physical illness or from accident or trauma. or uh, So uh, people can be bruised up, you know. And uh, uh, for example, I'll give you one example. Like, for example, you know, there's this one guy who went mental. It's because he got uh, uh, cancer in his brain, tumor in his brain. Or some people, they go mental. It's because uh, they got problem with their kidneys and uh, they have electrolyte imbalance. You know, some of them, like uh, 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 schizophrenia, some people have that problem, condition, because there's problem with their brain. You know, there is this chemical imbalance in their brain. There is this neurotransmitter dopamine problem in their brain. That's why they go mental. So not all people are, uh, that have mental are ca uh, caused by demonic. It could be physical, right? So it's very important to have the discerning. You know, you pray to God for wisdom. Uh, pray to God, Lord, Lord, give me, give me wisdom, Lord on how to approach this person and how to pray for this person. Because if you think that 
it's demonic and if it's not and then you try to cast out the demon but there is no demon in there right it's just a biological problem physical problem or you know there is a sin uh, in the life of that person and you need to address that sin now how do you know that this is cause this is physical or demonic right so we have here five reasons i was listening to pastor vlad and uh, you know he was explaining you know the five reasons why uh, the, the the difference between uh, demonic and, and 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 physical cause number one demons speak in rational dialogue versus people with mental illness speak in the irrational dialogue so when you're talking to, when when you approach a, a demon possessed right and if you talk to that demon possessed the demon in him or in her can talk rationally right i had a, i had that experience before i was talking to the demons inside that person and the demons you know respond to me right uh, they talk in in rational dialogue and you can understand it you can follow their speech right but those people with mental illness like schizophrenia or other mental health disorder when you talk to them they speak in irrational dialogue you know you can't follow their speech they're all they're all over the place you know it's it, their speech is in complete disarray so that's how you differentiate between demonic and physical number two demons want nothing to do with christ okay versus people with mental illness are often devote devoutly religious right now, a person who is demon-possessed, they don't want to do with, with, with Christ, right? When you talk to them about, about Jesus, you know, they, they don't want it. You know, they don't want it. But people with uh, mental illness, with physical problem in their brains, they are, you know, like they are religious, you know, and they pray to God, they approach God, and they are asking from God, Lord, help me with my mental problem. But those who are possessed with demons, mental illness caused by demons, Demons want nothing to do with Christ. They don't want to talk about the Bible. They don't want to talk about scripture. They don't want to talk about deliverance. They don't want to talk about getting uh, delivered. So that's the, the uh, um, uh, one difference. Number three difference. Demons give supernatural knowledge to their host. Right? And a person who is demon possessed, you know, sometimes... You know, when you, when you, uh, you know, I had that encounter before, you know, when you talk to the demons, they give you, they give you like reasons why that, that person was demon possessed. And then that spirit can give you, you know, like the, uh, when was he entered, you know, or possessed that person. And he can tell you supernatural knowledge about the host, right? Versus people with mental illness only no facts acquired by normal learning number four demons want to be secretive right versus people with physical mental illness claim to be demon possessed you know sometimes hey i'm demon possessed i got this problem you can you help me can you deliver demons out of me but it's actually physical problem there is problem with the brain maybe two more maybe chemical imbalances maybe electrolyte imbalance right but those people who are demon possessed the demons in that person are secretive it means the demons you know they want to stay hidden they want to stay uh, 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 anonymous they want to stay secretive you know uh, they want to you know that's why it's sometimes those people who are demon possessed you know sometimes it's it's hard it, you know it's it's hard to pinpoint people who are demon possessed because the demons in them are secretive they want to stay concealed hidden you know and that's why sometimes it's hard unless a person who is ministering to those demon possessed people they are very they are called by god they have the gift of deliverance they fast a lot they pray a lot you know number five demonic phenomena are at times scary and spooky versus a person doesn't exhibit supernatural behavior so those people who have demons in them demon they exhibit demonic phenomena and at times scary and spooky you know they have this it's, it's very scary they have they exhibit this uh weird uh, you know like behavior and they have this e extraordinary strength you know they can uh, 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 pick four or five people and they throw them across the room and they growl they they just uh, make some weird uh, an, uh, 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 noises and they exhibit uh, bizarre weird behavior 
So you will know right away that this, this, this thing is demonic. Versus a person who had physical problem, a person doesn't exhibit supernatural behavior. They, they don't. Number six, demons can't be cured with, med with medicine, right? A demon possessed person who has this mental illness, you know, you can try, you can bring them to the doctor, and the doctor can give them medications or antipsychotic, antidepression, anti an an uh, anxiety medication, but it cannot be cured with medicine. It's because it's, it's caused by spirit, by demons. Versus people with physical mental illness, they can, you know, they can go to the doctor and, you know, they can... They can be given medication and, and they and they and they you know and, and they're normal you know and uh, but mental illness with physical problem cannot be fixed with exorcism, right? Exorcism. So um, I, I I picked this topic because I met some people with mental illness, mental problems, and I pray to God, Lord, uh, how will I differentiate between? Uh, a demonic and uh, a, a, a physical and then I did the research and I prayed to God so I'm sharing this with you that way you'll be equipped on how to approach them and how to minister to them all right so let's pray father we thank you Lord today we have so many people Lord in our in our place that we have encountered and they have this mental problem they are suffering from depression from suicidal thoughts from panic attacks from anxiety and lord they need you and father some of them some of them are suffering from this as a result of demonic oppression or demonic possession and some of them are suffering is because of their physical problem in their brain in their electrolytes in their chemistry in their body father we pray in the name of Jesus we pray Lord that you would deliver them that you would heal them that you would come upon them Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God, we pray for these people, Lord. Father, we know, Jesus, that you are our deliverer. These people are suffering. They, they can't sleep, Lord. They, are, they stay awake every single night, every day. And, and, and they're losing strength. They have no energy. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cause them, Lord, to call upon you. And ask for help. For you are the only one who can deliver them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this specific person, Lord. Touch her in the name of Jesus. I pray for this specific person. Touch him, Lord, in the name of Jesus. There are so many people right now, Father. They're being attacked by the enemy. So many people in Afghanistan right now, Father. They have this trauma from terrorism, Father God. And some of them go mental because of this problem. Because of this crisis, Lord. And the terrorists are killing them. And a lot of people have died. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that your spirit come upon them, Lord, and minister to them. And, Father, we pray for Christians in Afghanistan, Lord, that you would mobilize them, Lord. Raise them up, Father. Give them faith. Give them boldness to go forth in spite of this situation, Lord, that they would go forth and share the good news that you are their Savior. You are their Deliverer. You are their hope and peace and joy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, Lord, grant wisdom, Lord, to the political leaders, Father God, especially America, Lord, who is heavily involved in this situation. We pray that the president will make right decision, Father. 
And so how we help, Lord, the Afghan people. Father, we thank you for your presence that is moving right, Lord, right now, Lord, in the midst of us. Father, we pray for all the missionaries around the world. They are there, Father God, preaching the gospel. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your supernatural power to manifest, Lord, as they minister in the name of Jesus. We pray for your protection to be upon them, Lord. We pray that signs and wonders will follow as they minister the gospel to the lost in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray for those who are sick with COVID, especially, Lord, Pastor Jojo, Father God, and the rest, Lord, in the name of Jesus, who are in the, in the hospital, Father. Lord, whatever problems they have, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that you will heal them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that your healing power will visit them, Lord. Your spirit will visit them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, for those people, oh Lord, that have no joy in their hearts, Father, Lord, give them joy that comes from you. Let them, Lord, let them know that you are our joy, that our joy is not dependent on, our, on material things, on the blessings that we have, on the ashes that we have in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Lord, for America. Lord, America is sleeping, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will send revival, Lord, to America. To all churches in America, Father, that they will experience, Lord, revival. Lord, create in our hearts hunger and thirst for real revival in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we rebuke spirit of lukewarmness in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, for your fire to be upon your people in America. Mobilize, Lord, your churches in America in the name of Jesus. We know that you're coming very soon. We know that America will experience tribulation. We know that America will experience persecution in the future but lord america is not ready america is not ready in the name of jesus and father we pray lord that you will stir up lord steer the hearts of your people in america in the name of jesus christ lord convict our hearts in the name of jesus convict us lord of our sins of our prides of our sleepiness in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Father, forgive us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for not praying for revival, for not praying for the lost. Forgive your people, O Lord, for not living according to your spirit. Lord, we live in, in comfort. We have everything, Lord. And because of that, Father, we forgot about you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, help your people to refocus upon you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for those who are in need, those people who need financial blessings. They have no jobs. They have no money, Lord. They don't know where to get the money for the, for the payment. Of their bills next month we pray in the name of Jesus Lord that you will grant them wisdom Lord that you will bless them Lord for we know that everything comes from you we know that you have the ability to make people successful it is you Lord that gives us the ability to make wealth so father in the name of Jesus help us Lord to depend upon you for everything that we need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray that you will send revival to our teenagers, to our young people across America in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that they won't be involved in material things, in the things of this world. You said in your words, come out from the midst of them, be separate, says the Lord. And Father, we pray for these young people in the name of Jesus that their minds will be focused upon you. Fill them, Lord, with the spirit of the living God 
in this last of the last days in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, equip us, Lord, with wisdom, with knowledge, with your anointing, with your spirit. And as we minister, Father, we know what to do in the name of Jesus Christ. For we don't depend on our ability and our strength, not on our eloquence of human wisdom, but we depend upon your power, upon your spirit, upon the demonstration of the spirit of the living God. Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. We give you honor. We pray for all the leaders, for all the pastors of every church in America. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, speak to their hearts, Lord. Lord, that they may preach the gospel according to your gospel. Not our gospel, not human gospel, but your gospel. Lord, that people need you. Not a friendly gospel, but a true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That these people, Lord, need to repent of their sins. Need to live holy lives. Need to live according to your gospel, according to your word, according to your spirit. Lord, that your preacher, your pastor will preach boldly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Will preach your words without taint. Without mixed with the with the with with worldly with worldly wisdom father in the name of jesus touch us stir our hearts lord that we may hear from you and only speak your words not our words but your words father i thank you lord we know that you're coming very soon father god thank you Come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, you are, our, you are our hope, Lord. In this world, we have no hope. We can have money, we can have houses, but Lord, anytime we can be devastated by sickness, by accident, by death, but Lord, we trust in you. We can only trust in you, Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. Awaken us, Lord. Send revival in our hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for those who are sick right now, Lord, in our church. We have so many people who are sick in our church, Father. And those people who are sick listening right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, send your healing power and touch them, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Give them peace in their hearts. Give them joy in their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. We love you, Lord. We bless you. We give you glory. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the peace that we have right now. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for healing those who are sick. Thank you, Lord, for delivering those who are demonic, who are oppressed by demons. Thank you for healing their, their brains from physical and mental illness. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for causing us to success in everything that we do. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you for our pastors. Thank you for our congregation who work, who labor for you. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for our salvation above all things. Sunday, we're going to see you, Lord, in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Folks, thank you so much for listening. And we'll see you on Sunday. God bless. Bye-bye.